All right, next we're gonna talk, and, and I'm gonna give our product keynote. So we're gonna focus on the product direction that we've been taking over the last couple months and the product direction that we're taking over the next year. And this includes the latest additions to our universal AI platform. So this is really where you're gonna be able to take your data, right, your analytics, your ML, and your Gen AI, and use this as a source of differentiation over the next year to come. And I'd also like to provide some insights about how some of our customers are implementing this in their organizations and really what we're hearing in when we're out in the field talking with customers and prospects. Going back to Catalina's keynote, right? how do we envision the future on the right there, the idea of AI agents? So this is what we've been working on the last year plus, really two concepts around Gen AI. The first is Gen AI in Dataiku and Gen AI on Dataiku. So let's go over first Gen AI in Dataiku. So this is using a prompt to apply to a data set and getting an output or having the ability to have access to multiple LLMs within Dataiku and being able to choose from one of those LLMs from a dropdown, incorporate that into the use case or workflow of your choice. This is users leveraging LLMs to do work. And then we have the concept of Gen AI on Dataiku. So this is really that co-pilot type of concept. So it is augmenting your user's ability to work within Dataiku. So if you're inside a prepare recipe, who in here has used a prepare recipe? Yeah, show of hands. Very powerful, it's probably my favorite recipe within Dataiku. So if you're in a prepare recipe and you type out, parse these three date fields and combine these four uh, columns into one, right? It will actually, through our AI um, prepare, it will actually generate those steps for you. If you're collaborating with a team member and you want to document your flow within Dataiq, you can click a button and it will automatically create a document that documents the steps in that flow for you. Right, so this is, this is what we're talking about when getting more efficient within Dataiq. So these are two very different concepts. One is applying Gen AI to actual problems that workers are trying to solve. And the second makes your analyst, your data scientists, your Gen AI, or excuse me, your data engineers, more effective and better trained within Dataiq, working faster. And these two concepts, We've previously talked actually about, you know, separately. But if we merge these concepts together, this is what we're talking about with agents, right? So an agent, an AI agent is both an augmentation of an analyst's ability to do work and the application of Gen AI to the problems that they're trying to solve in one package. So, and it doesn't mean it's replacing a data scientist or an analyst's job, right? What it's doing is taking that grunge or the mundane out of that, and with the promise of Gen AI, it's not to take away the cool, the interesting parts of the job, right? It's to take away that grunge, that repeatability, and you want to build a repeatable framework for the problems that you're trying to solve. So, how's Dataiku gonna help you build that future AI decisioning engines? So three key areas we're making big updates to this year to realize that AI-powered decisioning system. The first is helping companies not just create, but accelerate Gen AI use cases. This is that concept I talked about, about Gen AI in Dataiq. And then we're bringing a layer of governance all over data and AI work, including Gen AI, to help organizations scale AI safely and to make sure IT has that control and ownership it requires. And then finally, we're focusing on introducing more efficiency within workflows with XOps. So this is, includes managing costs, 
who's asking what questions, right? Who has access to what? And it all falls under that XOPS category. So yes, it is about Gen AI, but it's also about everything else that you're doing in Data IQ, building your data workflows and also your analytics projects. So let's dive into the first one. So helping uh, you create and accelerate the number of Gen AI use cases you're putting into production. So last fall, we released LLM Mesh. So this is the backbone that will really enable your organizations to build and govern decision systems quickly. Uh, and for the past 10 years, we've been removing the complexity out of various computational frameworks and packages through a unified interface. So before DataIQ, you might have had a handful of people within your organization that actually could leverage Hadoop, right? But we made Hadoop accessible and, and usable by hundreds, by thousands of people within your organization. And we're offering the same promise with LLMs, right? So DataIQ is that layer that lets the majority of your organization take advantage of LLMs in a safe and governed manner. So just as we've separated the concept of a data set in DataIQ from a specific database, we're separating that concept of a Gen AI application in DataIQ from a specific LLM. So you're not just rebuilding your vertical tech stack every time that you wanna switch between LLMs. And DataIQ is not releasing an LLM, right? but we're providing you the capability to have access to all of the latest and greatest LLMs out there. And so what this is gonna do is gonna provide that IT control and the use case flexibility and the speed for users. So we've learned in order to succeed at this, IT needs one centralized place to manage and provide access to all of the LLMs across the organization. And users need that flexibility to experiment. Right, and have that ability to do that. And we're calling it flexibility within a framework. And so on top of the mesh, DataQ also provides no-code text recipes with pre-built uh, hugging face models and LLMs, and pre-built Gen AI use cases and applications for faster time to value. And we're also offering enterprise-grade prompt engineering for prompt studios. And so you can iteratively uh, build out those applications and leverage prompts correctly. LLM Mesh decouples your AI applications from that services layer. So it includes an enforcing a secure gateway. It also has the ability to set permissions, security, PII, so which, date, uh, which data are, are people using and which um, users have access to what. Also cost and performance uh, control. And accelerators for RAG and vector databases. And we're always expanding the LLM mesh, adding the latest connections and ensuring you can leverage all the different LLMs you wanna use. So you'll see that you know, our customers uh, leverage both hosted and self-hosted LLMs, and there's benefits to both, right? You need to weigh the cost per token with the cost of the infrastructure to host that model when you're comparing the two. What is the quality of the results and also the speed? Right, and so Data IQ allows you to switch between LLMs to manage and balance that cost and the performance and speed for the right use case and the right application. So our latest uh, updates include Hugging Face for Mixtral, and we have uh, updated Databricks uh, Mosaic ML connection, and I'm very pleased to announce that Titan ML is our newest addition to the LLM mesh in our self-hosted models, and you'll hear more from Miriam from Titan ML, uh, Titan ML CEO. She's going to be presenting later on stage today. So in our continued investment in LLM connections, I'm proud to announce DataIQ Answers will also be soon available um, as part of our generative AI offerings. So DataIQ Answers it's a packaged, scalable web application to democratize RAG usage across business processes and teams. So whether it's develop an enterprise LLM chat app in minutes or deploy RAG at scale, 
this is gonna allow you to uh, accelerate the value with some of these LLM usage across and, and multiple use cases. And actually, uh, Chris is gonna demo that after, after my session. So we already have multiple customers using this. We have a global retailer that rolled this out for an internal use as a Q&A chat system using LLM and internal documentations with RAG leveraging data IQ answers to thousands of their employees. We also have a procurement, uh, an organization, uh, their procurement team is actually using this as a Q&A approach to all of their contracts. And then one final example, um, we're working with an investment relationship team and they're using this to speed up the analysis of their analyst calls. We're also very proud to announce that we'll, have, we'll soon have advanced LLM uh, mesh offerings. So LLM cost guard was already released last month for advanced cost control and monitoring to keep track of your usage um, and your costs of all your LLMs. But the advanced LLM mesh has other features coming soon, including LLM uh, advanced usage monitoring. So this is even more detailed observation analysis of LLM usage. Um, and for what application, and then advanced LLM guardrails. Um, that's gonna include uh, toxicity detection, custom hooks for LLM interaction control, and prompt injection detection. So referring back to the keynote, with some of these AI-powered uh, decisioning systems, you know, not all of it is going to require generative AI, and you might be leveraging traditional uh, ML. So it's not just about governing your LLMs, it's about governance across all of your data and AI initiatives. So Advanced Govern empowers you to have highly customizable governance processes and practices across your data IQ environment. So it gives you the freedom to customize your AI governance framework and have those approval processes put in place making it consistent across all of your internal AI processes and policies, but also providing you pre-built regulation templates for external AI policies. So some of the upcoming um, enhancements to Advanced Govern includes the EU AI Act readiness solution for the EU AI Act. <laughs> and some of those um, requires, it gives you a starting place, right? So you're not building from scratch these um, regulations that are put in place and gives you that framework and a starting place to tweak. Um, plus there's two new Gen AI related additions to Advanced Govern. The Gen AI Portfolio One Stop Shop. So this is gonna help you understand holistically across your AI portfolio, what's in development, the status of your projects and the business impact. And then the LLM Registry, right? So this is gonna allow you to have a detailed and specific governance review across all your LLM projects. And lastly, with more complexity, you're gonna need efficiency across your data ops, your ML ops, and your LLM ops, making it all work together. So when we talk about X ops, it's bringing design and production together across all of your AI and data projects. So for the past six months, we've evolved into the comprehensive solution for managing all models and products in production in your organization. So initially, we had support for external models, and this has enabled you to, to use and track uh, the models already deployed from a third-party model into your data IQ flow. We next launched the Deploy Anywhere capability, allowing models developed within data IQ to be deployed in any Cloud ML platform. Now, the most important piece of that puzzle is unified monitoring. Unified monitoring is a one-stop hub for visibility and oversight into your MLOps processes. By utilizing external models and deploy anywhere capabilities to extend that coverage. So this, think of this as a central watchtower. It enables operators to oversee and monitor pipe, uh, pipelines um, that are developed and deployed across diverse platforms. So with a consolidated modeling uh, strategy, you know, you can broaden the scope of your deployments 
and projects and API deployed via the Dataiku deployer, as well as your cloud endpoints from AWS SageMaker, Azure ML, and also Google Vertex AI. We have a large uh, banking customer in Europe, and they wanted, uh, you know, their, the role of Dataiku in their production environment. They wanted that, but they had already decided and standardized across the organization that they wanted uh, SageMaker as their deployment uh, mechanism for all of their models. And while we didn't want Dataiku just to be a prototyping tool, we did see that, and we understand that organizations might not want to have 10 different teams or processes for all of their deployment uh, capabilities. So this was a really great value prop for them, that universal monitoring and the ability to deploy anywhere and govern everything was very valuable for them. And lastly, with Dataiku 12.6 that we just released last week, we launched new ways to operationalize data quality. So if you remember metrics and checks, right, this is an enhancement to that. So now we're working to build your data products and the power and control to identify and fix those data quality issues within your central analytics and AI platform. So with the new data quality capabilities as well as the already built in data quality features that you have today, those that are building analytics and machine learning offerings can identify and resolve all of those issues coming in and out of your data IQ pipelines. Thank you everyone.